What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gents? Welcome, I'm your host, Sinistrain01, and I'm bringing you something I 100% truly love, and I know every time I stream this game, there's people out there that just have never heard of it, or they don't know anything about it, or there's just so many possibilities out there. This is a game that's not out yet. Um, it's only an alpha. It has a lot of bugs. It, it, it can be frustrating at times, but when the game runs smooth, when everything works, it is truly a sight to behold. I am a huge, huge space buff. You know, um, I always wanted to be an astronaut, you know, when I grew up, but, you know, being practically blind in my right eye, obviously you have to have perfect vision in order to be an astronaut, and so, I, you know, it was just something I could never do. So when games finally got to the point where they started to look really 3D and realistic, and then we started getting these space games, you know, way back when, and things just kept evolving from there more and more and more and more, things got better, and... You know, now we're essentially at the point that things are just looking so freaking good. So this game that we're playing today is called Star Citizen. So I love Star Citizen. There's many, many, many videos on Star Citizen on the channel that you can check out. There's playlists. There's all kinds of things. If you ever want to find something on the channel, all you got to do is go to my main channel page and go scroll all the way to the right, and then you'll find the little search icon, okay? Click on that and then type in whatever game that you think you want to see. You know, if you don't know if I've covered a specific game or not, type it in in that search bar and it'll show up if I've ever covered that particular game. So you can find all kinds of videos on Star Citizen. So right now there is a, uh, it's called the IAE Expo, which is the IAE 2952. So in the lore of this uh, universe, the Star Citizen universe, it is the year 2952. So they're way in the future and... It kind of corresponds, you know, 2952 is 2022, last year was 2951, 2021. So let let you know that uh, that's just kind of how the, the game lore works. Um, so this is 2952. So what this is, is it, all the ships get shown off. You can fly every ship in the game that's available, um, and it lasts for two weeks. It's also a free fly event, meaning that uh, anybody can play this game right now. So... If you have a PC and you want to try this game out, I've pinned the link to do that. And I've also shown in the top left of my screen, as well as in the pin and in the description, uh, is my referral code. So if you do decide to purchase this game, and right now you can get it for around $40 or so. If you do decide to purchase this game, use my referral code when you are signing and checking out, because that helps the channel immensely. Um, to show and spread the love to everybody. It also gives you 5,000 free credits to use to get armor and weapons and stuff like that. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump in. This is the first day of the expo. Now you're going to notice the frames are not going to be perfect. Okay, I just want you to just know frames are not perfect right now, especially when you're in heavily uh, dense areas like the big cities and stuff like that. When you go to space and you're traveling around, and you go to other planets that's not uh, a dense population of, like, say, a city or, or something like that, frames will jump right up. But when you're inside cities and things like that, frames can be a little bit lower than normal. Uh, right now, we're running at about 30 frames, but on some points of the stream, you're going to see that the game is going to run at actually, like, 70 to 80 frames. Now, I'm playing this in 4K, streaming it in 4K as well, and it's just a truly, truly beautiful, amazing game. So I want to show off a little bit. Like I said, right now the frames are not too good because there's a lot of people in this congested area. Uh, this is my character. Uh, you can have him look however you want. Uh, there's all kinds of clothes and outfits that you can do. You can customize their face. You can be male. You can be female. Uh, there's all kinds of custom customization, different armors and different uh, weapons, different things that you can equip. This is particularly just how my character looks. Um, and I got them all nice and looking set up and stuff so this is our hab that we start out with um depending on when you when you come into the game there are four different locations that you can start um you want to in this particular case start on microtech new babbage because that is where the expo is so if you want to be able to in case the game crashes or you die you'll automatically respawn at a hospital bed here and this is where the expo is so you can easily get back into the fight and go back to the expo 
Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and head over there. There's uh, frames are going to be a little tough here to begin with, um, because this particularly this this place. But as I was so oh, sorry, as I was saying before, you start out here in in your room. Um, this is just a room that gets assigned to you whenever you start the game. Uh, and then if you die, you come back to this room unless you change your location. So we are on a planet called Microtech. Now, Microtech is the furthest planet from the sun in the Stanton system. So, um, know that we are in the Stanton system, like you have our solar system, right? Well, this is the Stanton system. There are four planets in the Stanton system, um, going from Lorville to Crusader to Area, um... 18 and or Arc Corp is what they call the planet and uh, this is Microtech. Microtech is a very cold cold planet. There are only a few locations that actually have um, vegetation, trees, grass, things like that, but it, it is here. But we're the first planet from the sun, therefore it's going to be a very, very cold place, so you have to dress accordingly. But let's go ahead and get started. Dwayne, thank you so much. Uh, for the membership, bud. Thank you for the uh, resubscription or whatever. I appreciate it. So right now it's currently in the daytime. As you can see, it's light outside, but there is day and night, so it just constantly cycles back and forth. But let's go ahead and head down. Not getting a lot. Of, we're not getting very good frames right now, and again, that is to be expected, everybody. I just want to make give you a mental note of that. Um... We should get better frames when we get to the Expo Hall, but it literally just started. So, hopefully it won't be too bad for your eyes. I'm not sure what you mean by perma-free. It's free to try right now for 20, or for about two weeks, just over two weeks. So yes, you can literally try it right now for free. Like right now I'm only getting 19, ooh, 15 frames. See, it, it can get really, really bad. Listen, it's not going to be like this all the time. It's only because everybody on this server is literally right here. Because this is the event that everybody is having, so. It is an immersive sim, yes. It is immersive. You see down in the bottom left, you see the little water droplets, and then you see the other one to the right of it. That is my water intake, so 67% water right now, meaning that I'm going to need to probably drink... Looks like we missed it. I'm going to need to drink some water soon, because if it goes down to zero, then you're going to get dehydrated, and you're going to start, like, throwing up, and you're going to get sick, and then you'll eventually die. So you have to stay hydrated, and then the one on the right side is your food intake. Um, it's at 91%, so we're okay. You're eventually going to have to eat something, and there are all kinds of things that you can eat throughout your adventures here. Uh, we got eight seconds for the tram to arrive, Capsule and as you can see, we're station. heading to IAE 2952. There is a solo campaign, and it's called um, Squadron 42. It's not out yet. It's currently still being made. It's going to have Mark Hamill, um, some big actors uh, in it. Uh, Gary Oldman's in it. Henry Cavill, uh, Cavill is in it. Um, John Rhys Davis Gimli from Lord of the Rings is in it. Um, uh, Gillian Anderson from X Files is in it. A lot of big stars are in it. It's a huge space sci-fi thing so here is the planet again of micro tour of uh, microtech we're getting low frames right now this is not what you're normally going to see usually around here when you're playing the game normally you're going to get about 30 frames no matter what computer you have because it's not your computer that bogs the game down it's the optimization it's not really optimized quite yet so there's a lot more optimization that still needs to happen um but right now they're focused on getting more and more things out there and making the game more fleshed out and whatnot, so... But that is pretty low frames, though. You don't need a code or anything like that to play, it's free. Just follow the instructions uh, with the link, and then you should be okay. The code that you see, specifically, is um, the code that you could use to get free credits if you use my code when you're purchasing the game. So, make that a mental note for you guys. We might change servers a few different times depending on how one server is doing. I'm not sure how this server is doing. Uh... But here we are. So, this is uh, the theme for 
This is the, uh, the war at home. Everyone that you see moving around fast, those are actually human players. Like right there. These are all AI, so you'll usually be able to know, you can distinguish the AI from uh, the real players. It's pretty e easy to distinguish. These are all human players. Like I said, the frames are really, really low right now. This is the if first time it came out was today, so I imagine today might be uh, pretty, pretty bad on the frames. But it's not normally this bad. Today's featured... I might change servers to see if we get like a, a better server or something like that, because it also depends on what server... And I'm going to go slow, so that way it's a little smoother for everybody. Yes, yeah, so you can talk to each other. You can actually... There's a thing in the game that allows your... If you have a camera, you can set your camera up, and it reads your face. And then your face will start moving, like your character here. You see me? Um, I don't have it on now, but I could turn it on. And then you would literally see my... Um, well, actually, I could turn it on. Hold on. I do want to show off as much about this as, as, as possible. So if I were to go into here, and then I go to um, options, comms, and VoIP, I could turn and calivate this. Um, let's see, it's reading the other one. I don't think it's reading the right one. There we go. Uh, let's see. Head tracking. Camera device. Here we go. No. Um. Yeah, you got to turn on the right one. So there are, you see these Aver Medias in here, right? I'm not sure exactly which one it is. I'm not too worried about it right now. I, I don't want to, like, you know, cut up the flow of this. But essentially... Your face becomes his, or his face becomes yours, or her face becomes yours. And then your face will move. Um, you can move your head around, and he'll, you know, move his head around like this. He'll talk, his lips will move, his eyes will bulge up and down. There's all kinds of great things that this game does. All right, let's go inside. Now, you'll, you'll notice that once we get to space, everything is going to... Um, all frames will go up to like 80s and 90s and stuff like that. It's just in these locations. And here we go, ladies and gents, the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. IAE 2952. First day is Drake. I always like to come in with like a, a really, really cool shot here. So I'll slow it down a little bit and we'll go in with a nice slow walk. A lot of really, really, there's a new ship here that we're going to check out. You can check out my first look at the ship I have on the page as well. So this is Drake. Let's go ahead and take a look. Again, I do apologize for the low frame rates, but it's the first day of the expo, so they're going to have a lot of optimizing, obviously, to d they need to do. So let's just go from left to right and take a look at the ships. These ships can be bought in-game without purchasing any money. Now, you do have to purchase a package to get the game, to actually have the game, and with that package, you're going to get a ship. You can choose whatever package you want, but these ships can be bought in-game, or you can buy them with real money. So it's up to you. 
if you buy them with real money, it means all that money is going back into the development because this is a game that does not have a publisher. It's developed by the developers. They publish it. They do everything on their own. So the game is completely crowdfunded. Uh, so every purchase from these ships goes directly to back into the game to make the game better. But you don't have to do it. You can just purchase the normal package and the ship that you get with it and then do your normal grinding of doing missions and doing stuff like that and earning money and then that's how you can get ships. So this ship is called the, uh, the Caterpillar. This is a big cargo type of ship. Um, I remember when this came out... Uh, this ship was just so freaking cool. As you can see, you got like four different compartments there, and um, all, all this is particularly uh, made for cargo. Lots of cargo space. You're not really going to do much um, fighting in this ship. And we're going we're gonna to go around, we're going to take a look at all of the ships. Um, right now you can rent the ships, so as you can see it costs zero. I have 1,365,924 credits right now. Uh, but it's going to cost you nothing to rent, because you can rent these ships. Um, although it says an error occurred, I might have to restart. I'm not sure. But that doesn't matter right now. Right now we're just trying to... I go inside. Wayne, thank you so much for the super chat, bud. I appreciate it. Great work, String. Wishing you well and peace and love. You too, my friend. You too. All right, so here we are inside the ship. A lot of a lot of ships actually have interiors that you're going to be able to explore. This is the mess hall area where you're going to eat, probably stay up to date with your crew. This is what the compartments look like. Uh, all of this location and areas here are mainly meant for uh, cargo. So if you want to be a cargo runner, then you're going to be able to do that. As you can see, there's a bunch of them. There's there's the third one, the fourth one. First one. And then here is the back where you can place like a vehicle or something like that. All right, so then you can also go up a floor. I know it can be a little hard to... Yeah, this game's PC. It's PC only, actually. You've got a turret up here. This is where you can control all the things so you can retract. <laughs> I flew him up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game. That's crazy. Alright, there's your turret, so let's let's hop in the turret. get a good uh, view of the ship here again this is your it's a very very long ship as you can see again the frames are only because there's so many people right now like normally frames are a lot better so don't don't judge the game based off of the, the low frames you see here yes there's low frames in the game but it's not as bad as what you're seeing here. It's never as bad as what you're seeing here. Just letting you know that. All right. And then we can come all the way over here. Alright, so this is your other area. This is where you can go to the other portions of the ship. Like you have the upper hallway here. You have the observation deck, the command access. So essentially this takes you to where you can fly. So here's your cockpit. 
This is what you'll see when you're flying. Notice how I hit close. Notice how all the opens are closing. Then we go back. Open. And now they're all opening. So you have, con you know, control over those things and whatnot. They do have active events. Uh, they do them all the time. Um, events where all of the every all the players can join together take out ai or they can have like an event where they're fighting each other like human like uh, pirates versus uh good players and things like that events happen all the time in the game uh there's also an area down here this is where the crew can sleep got a little area down there as well so and an observation area. So essentially what this this thing is that if let's say uh, some pirates came and they wanted to steal all the cargo, right? Well, this section here, this whole uh, main section with the flight and everything like that can actually be Oh, that was that was creepy. It's like morphing through a guy there. Um, this whole thing can be detached from the rest of the ship so that that way you can get away if people just want your cargo, so it's like kind of a safety feature. You've got EVA access. This will allow you to go out onto your ship. Uh, let's say if you're in um, uh, space and you need to repair something on the outside of it, and that's the way you can do it. All right, so there is the caterpillar. All right, so these, I think these frames are just a little, a little too low. So we're gonna try a new server. So essentially what I just did was quit the, quit the thing. It's gonna go back to the main menu. And then we're gonna go back in and hopefully it'll connect us to a different and better server. Some servers are going to have a lot of people on it, others won't. Just depends. There's a lot of people trying to play right now, so. And once we're done with the expo, and I get out into space, I'll show you how much the game and performance, like, completely improves. Uh, and you'll be able to have so much fun um, when you get out to there. All right, there's also Star Marine, which is the first-person shooter aspect of the game. You can click on that and go into matches with other people in first-person shooter. There's Arena Commander, where you can test all of your ships. You can uh, do uh, dogfighting against the AI and stuff like that. Um, and then there's a Persistent Universe, which is your main hub. So I'm instead of setting for best, I'm going to set it for USA and see what that does. See, we're starting at Babbage, and then again, there's character customization. Um, That's what my character looks like currently, but if I wanted to change um, any aspects of him, let's say I wanted to maybe uh, take a little bit from him, I could do that, and then his face morphs a little bit, as you can see. And now we got him looking a little different. And you can save it, uh, change your hairstyles, change all that kind of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and enter. I am like I know a lot of people aren't going to be here for this, but that's okay because this is like a this is like a passion project for me. You know how there's like that one game for for creators, it's it's different because we play so many different types of games, uh, where you know we 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 play so much games. Like our whole life is evolved around nothing but gaming. So for me, this is like my escape. This is like the one game besides this and Rock Band. This is like the one game that that I just get lost in and some and I play at night when I'm not recording when I don't care about showing something off or whatever I usually only stream this game when there's a new patch out or there's one of these events because most of the time I'm just playing I'm just playing and having fun and I'm not worried about what other people think or I'm not worried about putting out walkthroughs for it or anything like that this is just one of those fun games for me 
that I love to play. So, you know, we all have those types of games where, you know, you, where you, when you play it, you can just feel stress-free and all that. I would say Starfield kind of looks like this. This game has been in development since before Starfield even knew what the hell it was doing. This game has been in development since, um, gosh, Elder Scrolls, um, the last Elder Scrolls game came out. <laughs> it started in 2012, the development for this game. Uh, so yeah, it's been in development for a while. So we're in a different server now. I don't know if it's going to be any better. It's still pretty bad right here. We'll wait till we get... Like I said, it just be because there's just a lot of people playing right now. Hey, Mario. But yeah, that's another reason why we're all excited about Starfield is because um, it's that's that's Bethesda's take on this. This is a this is what you call an MMORPG. So this one is like a this one is a huge scale. Uh, very, very immersive. It's way even more immersive than Starfield is ever going to be. This is on a different level than that. Starfield is going to be amazing, I hope. But even that is nothing... <laughs> I like people put the thing down there. Is nothing compared to what the, the, the scope and scale of what Star Citizen is, is trying to be. That's a human player right there. I don't know what he's doing, but... <laughs> yeah, this server might be a little wonky, too. so excited about Starfield. Like, really, really excited. I wish it wasn't delayed, but if they gotta make a great game, then hell, <laughs> delayed. Alright, so we're back here. Capsule will be leaving the station momentarily. Yeah, this server doesn't seem to be any better. There's just so many people playing right now. As you can see, those are the dates. So the 18th through the 19th is Drake Interplanetary. Um, then November 19th will be uh, Origin. So tomorrow there's going to be two different locations you can go to. One will be Origin, the other will be Drake. And then so that means today is the only day where there's just one. Today and in the, in the last day, I guess. Alright, so we're back here. It looks like we're getting about the same frame, so I just think that's just how it's going to have to be. You do need good memory to run this game. Me memory is a big thing for this game. So just remember that. All right, so here are the new... This is the newest ship, dude. Today is the first day anyone is ever getting a chance to see this ship. Now, I have a video of it up that I put up just the other day. Um, but yeah, this is the brand new ship that just came out literally today. It's called the Drake Corsair. 
It is a massive, um, it's going to be an exploration ship with a lot of firepower. The pilot will control six weapons, four here, and then two that are, as you can see, on there. This is a massive ship. I think people, I saw people saying that there's a bug right now. With this. Let's see. Let's go to the land. Something about a bug. Would you stop hitting the button? Oh my god, dude. There we go. Alright, I was able to get on. Alright, so as you can see, this is like where you're going to be able to store your cargo, or you could put in a vehicle. If you're traveling on a planet or a moon or something. You can check out my 4K, um... Uh, first look of this video, of this ship as well. I mean, this is a really nice ship. I kind of like it because of the firepower that it, it has. There's the elevator. Then this is what it looks like from the pilot seat. Is the game going to be finished? I have no idea. This is a nice ship, though. Oh, there's someone below me, too. There's someone in the... Oh, there's actually someone in the turret, too. See? Really cool stuff. I like that outfit, though. There's the captain's quarters. And then here is the elevator to get up and down. You can actually go to the top floor. To the roof. You can see now I'm on top of the ship. Someone else has got that same idea over there. <laughs> You can see it's a massive ship. Looks like I'm not seeing a thing to rent the Corsair. Can I get somebody to sit in the co-pilot seat in the Corsair just so I can see what the floor looks like when it goes? So when you get when you get close to people, you can actually hear them. Uh, it's directional commentary, so just like it is in real life, if you get close to whoever talks with their mic, you can hear them.
Those are all... I'm not sure why the thing is not showing up for us to rent it, but I know you can rent it. Alright, so let's check out some of the other spots here. They're just having the two ships out here, the big, two big ships. So if we go into one of the other halls, I'm not sure which one it is. Looks like it's the other one. Well, first you can go down here. So these are the, that's the Drake Mural, I believe. I'm gonna rent, see if it works. No, nope, errors occurred. Let me see if anyone else is getting that. We all love to joke or joke joke around about Star Citizen. I do kind of want to see what enter driver's seat that looks like. Is that so cool? All right, so there's the Drake Mule. Let's go to the display hall. So these are gonna be for ships that are not currently out yet, the ones that are still in production. There's the big one. This is the Kraken. This is a huge, huge ship, like bigger than this expo hall. Like you see each one of those little things right here. You see that, that, that. Those are all landing pads for ships. So let that show you the sense of scale and size that this thing is going to be. This is going to take years to make. But when it's out, it's going to be freaking amazing. So for those people that want to like get so immersed into the game and they want to be the captain of a of a fleet, you know, this is this is the ship for you. And as far as reading the description, you can check it out here. The Kraken has been released, and that means one thing. There's no putting it back. This attack carrier has changed the way militias operate forever. And when it comes to personal defense, there's one thing you never want to be. Fallen behind. A protector and a beacon of freedom in an often cruel universe. Drake Interplanetary has made this capital-class ship available to all those tasked with safekeeping those unable to protect themselves. The Kraken is both a sanctuary and a self-contained war machine ready to take on the most daunting adversaries. Or adversaries. <laughs> yep, so that's the only one that's in uh, limbo right now of Drake, I think. Yes, uh, you'll be able to have AI crewmates or you can have human crewmates, whichever one you prefer. 
Here's the dragonfly. This is a this is like the kind of motorbike. All right, let's head back up. Okay, now we're going to head... How are you getting 53 frames of the expo? getting that many. There's no way they're getting 46 or whatever. I'm getting like 15 frames. Well, maybe you guys will have better luck than I am. I'm st I have a, I'm getting a sec. I have a since the second computer is streaming the game, so I'm not streaming it on. How are they getting that many? There's no way... I know I don't have anything messed up on my computer, why I'm only getting 18 frames. Like, watch, do you see it's at 17? Or, uh, I'm getting 17 right now, well, you can't see that, but... I'm getting 17, so if I, let's say I turn this down to low... Man, I can't even do that right there, it took that forever. Let's say I turn all these down as well... Low, low, off. Let's see what I'm getting now. No improvements. 16 frames, 18 frames. It doesn't change a thing. Yeah, so I have no idea why other people are saying they're getting better frames. That doesn't make any sense. And it's not because I'm in 4K, because it literally doesn't matter. You could literally change this to whatever, and it will not change at all. Let me see if I tried windowed. Still, 19 frames, 18 frames, there's like... None of that changes. Alright, let's head over here. These are weapons that you can get and purchase and rent. Uh, these are buy, though. See, they cost money. 
These weapons go inside the ships. Uh, you can use them as weapons for your ships. Let's go to the other portion here. No, watch. So I'll change the resolution. This might screw some things up. Hold on. But this isn't going to make a difference like at all. That's the one thing about this game is it really doesn't make a difference what you have it set at. It's, it's all bound differently. I know that makes it look a little weird on there. But it says 22 frames. So it doesn't really go down. It still says 19 frames, 20 frames, 19, 20. So it doesn't really help even when I do that. So... I don't know, maybe I have some settings that are just not, um... Not the best, I'm not sure. It is a busy, very busy part of the server. But I can't, I don't understand how other people are getting 40 to 50. It makes no sense to me, I've never ever gotten that much inside a city. Even with my rig that's way better than most people's. Alright, so here's some other ships. Alright, these are the Cutlass series. So you've got the Cutlass Steel. This is supposed to be your industrial kind of ship. You've got the Cutlass Red. That's your medical ship. It has a uh, medical bed in it if you want to be like a hospital and help people out. This is your police bounty hunter. Meaning that uh, there's bounty hunter pods inside this ship. So you walk inside and you'll see these bounty hunter pods. So you can capture people and then you put them in these pods. And then you can turn them in and collect your bounties. This is a nice ship. I do like the Cutlass. Um, really great smaller type of ship of Drake's. Again, I don't think... I don't think they're gonna work right now. We just keep getting error. I might have to exit the game and come back. Alright, let's go to the other one. Let's go to Apex Hall 4 and 5. That really pisses me off if everyone else is getting way better frames than me. I just don't, I don't get it. I'm gonna try something real quick here. So give me one second, I'll be right, I mean, I'm still in here, you're still gonna... Yeah, no, I really can't do that because you wouldn't hear me if I did that. Never mind. It's all right. We're we're fine. All right, going to Apex Hall Five. All right, so this there there's the brand new ship that came out called the Cutter. Um, we'll start with the Buccaneer over here. This is your dog fighting ship. So, specifically, this ship has a lot of weapons, a total of six weapons. You can see the big one on the top. Then you've got two there. You can also change some of these to be double. 
Um, then you have that one there, and you also have the one on the outside there, the smaller one. Really, really cool. This one is your data mining ship, meaning that, like, um, if you're doing delivery for data and stuff like that, that's what this ship is made for. It's not meant for fighting or anything like that. This over here is also a new ship that has not been out yet. This is called the Vulture. This is going to be... This ship is not released yet. But this ship is going to be releasing in the next patch, 3.18. This is going to allow you to salvage other ships. So you can scrape their holes so you can get money from salvaging ships that are broken. A little bit of a cargo area. A little crowded in here. Got a bed. Is there a schnitter? Leave it to Drake not to have a schnitter. No, there's a schnitter. Right there it is. <laughs> and there's someone taking a crap. That's hilarious. <laughs> hey there. What's up? You doing all right? Oh, don't tell me I got myself stuck in here. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Am I really stuck in here? I can't move. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm stuck. Where's the... I need to get to the button. Access. Open door. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Great view though. <laughs> nice helmet. Somebody locked it. Uh oh. I might be sucking this shit. There we go. Someone locked it. <laughs> Trying to piss people off. Here we go. I can do the same thing. So let's close. And lock. There we go. Now they won't be able to, who's ever in there won't be able to get out. It's going to take a while to figure it out. All right, let's check out this brand new ship. The Cutter. This just came out today as well. This is a new starter ship, so these are the very basic beginning ships. And this just came out today. It's got two size one weapons. The Drake Cutter. I've never been in this ship. This is the first time. So you got a little bit of a cargo area here with I think up to four SCU. Really low frames in here. You've got a bed for rest and relaxation. No shitter, though? No, not that I can see. Oops. That 
that must be it. But the guy's standing in the way, so I can't, uh, unfortunately, get over there. No. So it does have one. And then, here's what it looks like when you're in the pilot's seat. Mile High Club. I like the view. Doesn't look too bad. Open lock. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll give it a fly sometime this week when when the game allows me to. Because right now, as you can see, you try to rent it. It's just going to say error occurred. All right, let's go to Expo Hall four. Okay, we've already seen that one, so... Uh, yeah. Alright. Well, we, that's pretty much everything inside the first day for the IAE, all the ships. And unfortunately, that stuff's not working currently. So, what I'm going to do... Is in hopes of getting everything to work, I'm gonna quit the game, and then I'm gonna bring it back up. Just give it a few seconds and it'll come back up. Yeah, I think a lot of people want to play it in VR. I'm pretty sure they said that they're going to plan on having people play it in VR, but it's going to take a little while. Obviously, they're focused on getting the game finished first. But if there's a game that I can't recommend enough to play in VR, it's... Um, Elite Dangerous is so much fun in VR. Yes, you can go on combat, combat missions. Give it a sec, it should come on here in a second. Alright. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try... I'm going to try an Asian server. You know, sometimes if you go to servers from even far, far away, you'll find that there's not as many people in those servers, and it'll be just as fine. Yeah, so right now, eh, I keep getting error, so I'm sure they're going to fix that. But for right now, no, you cannot rent. It's it, it, they, I keep getting the same error message. Which I'm sure they're going to fix within a day or so. Yeah, the whole point of the IAE Expo is... Um, for you to be able to rent all these different ships and try them out. This is really the only loading that you're going to do in the game is when you first enter. Um, after you enter, you'll never see a loading screen as long as you don't die. But if you die, then you'll get a loading screen. 
under the nets, it's just smooth sailing. You'll never get a loading screen, ever. It's going to be interesting to see how this server runs. You always want to, before you get up, give it a second. Oh, I'm at 24%. I need to get some food in me. Well, it's not looking too good. I'm only at 18 frames. That's still bad. Uh, do I have any food? I have no food. Okay, I gotta get some food in me or else uh, I will eventually end up dying. And this is a good opportunity to go ahead and take off my clothes and get freaky with it. Na 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 get freaky with it na 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 Alright, so first things first is I'm gonna put on a space suit. Oh, is that a new one? That looks cool. That's just an undersuit. I don't want to put that on though. We'll, we'll be—I mean, it looks cool as hell, but we'll be all right without it. Let me just get on uh, a suit here. my arms I've got the S10 core there we go must be the new suit that I picked up Paladin where's the S Here we go. I gotta get some food in me. We're gonna get out of this area, but first I gotta get some food. Because I'm only 22% right now. I need water. Once we get out here, the frames are going to start going up, and we're going to leave this uh, planet now. So first is first, I need to go to the commons because I need to get water. You see all these boxes? Those are medical gowns. People's been dying and they leave their medical gowns on the floor. <laughs> uh, hey there. How are you doing? Forty-five seconds, man. Waiting for the ship. Alright, so we'll do some missions once we get out of here. 
Reminder tonight, uh, wife and I, um, we're going to be streaming The Devil in Me at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so come check it out. We will have the camera on, so that'll be fun. We're not going to be getting off here because we need to go one more to get to the commons. Get some food. Got some ice cream. How about some water? I need some high quality H2O. Okay, first off, you need to take your mask off. Actions. Helmet. There you go. Quick buy. Alright. Drink. There you go. As you can see, we're 94% now. Where's the trash can? We don't have a trash can in here. You need a trash can. What happened to the trash cans? Fine, I'll just place it right here. Hi, welcome. Hey, we throw that away for me, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's go. having a hard time getting on today yeah I mean it's it's there's a lot of people logging in right now and that's most likely the reason Approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. Capsule now approaching station. Stand. All right, so we're gonna head to the spaceport, and we're gonna take a ship out into the universe. Careful. Doors are now closing.
Just keep trying, man. I don't know what to tell you. A lot of people are logging in right now, so it's probably hard everywhere if you're not already in. There's vending machines, I believe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can always try a character reset, but I don't think that has anything to do with your character. Servers are just really bogged down right now. All right, so we're headed up to the spaceport. Which ship do I want to take out? That's what I need to ask myself. Frames are already starting to get better because we're getting further and further away from where everyone is located on this server. If you always want to, if you want to check out how many people are on your server, you can hit F1, and then go over to comms, and then this is everybody on the server, so look, look how many people are on the server. That's quite a bit. For this game, so... All right, let's get a ship. Be sure to explore all new Babbage has. Welcome to the ASOC the vehicle retrieval system. Okay, these are the ships that we have. Uh, the main ship that I have is not on here because it's not released yet. But that ship is a Banu Merchantman. Um, and instead of having that ship right now because it's not been released yet, the game gives me a C2 Hercules and a Banu Defender. Uh, I also have the Avenger Titan. I also have a Nomad. And uh, some of these ships I've actually gotten because of all of you out there that have actually used my referral code. So anytime you use a referral code, or you get someone to use your referral code, you get something in return. Uh, sometimes I have, I think, 78... I have, there's 78 people that have bought the game because of me. And because of that, the game has given me free ships. It's given me, um, uh, this Misk, uh, Razor. I never paid for this. This was given to me by Star Citizen because I was able to get 75 people, um, to buy the game. Uh, and it goes up. So once it gets to 100, I get another ship. I think it's an alien ship. So, um... If you're going to get the game, use my referral code because it helps. It really does. And then it gives you free cash. Um, what do I want to take out? Remember, your belongings belong to you. Well, if I'm going to do some combat... Let's claim that one because that says destroyed. Insurance claim has been sent. So when a ship is destroyed, you're going to need to claim it, and then it'll be delivered in six minutes. Or you can pay a little extra fee to have it delivered a little quicker. That's if it's destroyed. Uh, Ready to upgrade? Located in the plaza, the factory line has all of Microtech's latest offerings. I don't know which one I want. From the best in shopping, dining, and entertainment. Be sure to visit New Babbage's renowned promenade. Let's go for the arrow. That's claimed. It's a poor wrestler, so... 
Well, we're gonna head up there anyway, so why don't we just take? Please visit us again. Goodbye. Welcome Tied to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. We're just gonna take. This is the starter ship. So this is what. This is what you're gonna get. Um. With the vehicle basic starter selected. package, we'll take this up Stand to the space by. station. Your vehicle has been delivered to the space Hangar ten. Be sure to visit what is far as Only a quick ride the metro. You usually can get cans and stuff from, uh... You have to go to the spaceports and into the, uh dining section. So this is like kind of the ship that you would start out with when purchasing the lowest package. Very simple, basic. Press R to turn everything on, or you can hold down F and then go. On this ship, I don't even know where it is because I don't ever fly this one. But it's somewhere here and I can't find it. So I'm just going to hit R. Where, where is the power? So there's that. There it is. The power's there. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna hit F3. You need to set that up in your controls. That's gonna open up... You are clear to launch. ...that. Let's get out of here. Thank you, and please visit again. As you can see we're leaving, we're gonna get further and further away. Hopefully the frames are gonna start getting significantly better once we get out of this city. It'll be available, don't worry, they'll, they'll get it fixed. You're gonna get a chance to rent it. Try it out. Once you get about 11,000 meters up... Which, we're just about there now, so we can hit F2. And we're going to locate the space station called Port Tressler, which is right there. I know it's hard to see. Don't worry, they're going to have a new uh, UI system coming soon. Hit B. Find it with the little, like, kind of dot that points towards it. There you go. Wait for it to uh, charge up, Spoon. And there you go. Okay, so we're coming on now, as you can see. We're still getting really bad frames right now. Yeah, this is must this is probably not the bestest idea. Let's go ahead and land here. A little hard to see. We're still getting really bad frames. This is not... Something's up with this server or... 
There's no reason why we'd only be getting 20 frames. We should be getting about 60 to 70 right now. That's what I normally get when I'm out and about here. We're going to get close enough to where we can land, which it looks like we are, so hit F3. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Landing gear deployed. Right now, we're not on the side of the sun, so it's very, very hard to see this stuff. No, the code is... Shit. Slow down! Okay, good. The code is for when, um... If you use my code, that's my code, which would uh, give you extra credits when you log in or when you sign up and purchase the game. So now that we landed here, the next time we start our game, we're automatically going to be here. So you're going to see I'm going to quit. Then I'm going to join up on a US server. And we should be at this location now. No, there's no free-to-play, uh... There might be a free-to-play code. You gotta go to the main website and follow the instructions. See that link? You gotta follow the instructions there, and then it should help you. Alright, so let me show you something about, like, Arena Commander here. This is what it would look like when there's better frames. So, let's say we go single-player, we're going to do... Vandal Swarm on... Broken Moon, select a ship, um, got all these ships that we can try here. Mm. Let's go for the Scorpius. All right, and launch. So this is going to take us into the dog fighting module. Vandal swarm initiated. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Something's definitely wrong. System check. I'm only getting 36 frames right here. I should be getting like 80 to 90 right now. Something is definitely wrong. So it's not. I don't know what is going on. Alright. Let's get into some combat here. Yeah, this is really slow. This is so much slower than shipping. There's a kill. Normally it's so, so higher. Warning. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Inbound. Why is, why is the frame so low? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something real quick, alright? Give me one second, you're not gonna hear me for a minute, but I'm gonna try something.
Check, check. Can you guys hear me? Check one, two, three, check one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, yes, can you hear me? How's the audio? Is the audio fine? Can you can you hear the game? Okay, I tried a different way to stream this. Let me see if this works. Let me know if you guys hear the game. Uh, let me know if you hear me. And all that jazz. Mm. So I can't hear the game. But that's fine. I don't need to hear the game. I just want to make sure you guys can. Let's see if it runs any better, shall we? So I've completely turned off OBS on my computer that I was playing the game on, and now I'm only streaming OBS and the voice is coming through my second computer. So everything that is streaming is running through the second computer. Everything that I'm playing is running only on the first computer. So let's see if that makes this significantly better. Wow, there we go, look at that. Look at that, boom. You see up in the top right where it says frames? Now you notice the bed that I'm starting at right now? Uh, this is this this is the space station we were just at. So remember we landed at the space station, so that's why we're here. But now you see, significantly much improved. So I guess whenever I was, um, when I had OBS open on my game computer, it made it impossible for me to be able to have good frames at all. Now you already noticed that the frames were significantly better. I mean, it's it's as good as what you're normally going to get in Star Citizen. But significantly better, right? So much smoother. Welcome to 
the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Is my voice clear? I hope uh, because I couldn't change the um, the quality of my mic, so hopefully the mic is coming through nice and clear. Uh, let's see, what do I want to take out? I said I wanted to do some. Let's do anvil arrow. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Norm, as far as my recommendations, man, I don't know what to tell you, Please bud. Um, restart your computer, Bye. keep trying, and don't give up, man. Right now, it's 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 tough to play the game because of uh, IAE going on right now, so... I'm playing the game right now, and I can't even hear any sound. You guys can hear it, but that's that's on me. That's not on the game. All right, make sure I got an outfit on. Yep. All right, so this we're taking out the Anvil Arrow, which is a great uh, fighter ship. But you'll notice how everything is significantly more smooth. This is uh, this is a uh, modification of the cry engine. As you can see, it's running significantly better. It's still a little low for my tastes. Normally, I'm getting much, 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 much more frames. But why don't we... Why don't we test this? We're going to go completely out, far away. From all of the main stuff here. It's still lower than it should be, and that could just be because of server issues. Because honestly, right here, I should I should be getting around uh, 60 frames easy, but it definitely is better than what it was. And now you can actually see what's going on because it's streaming my whole computer instead of just streaming the OBS that I had up on this computer. So it's a little different. Now, once we go away from here, let's set ourselves a a place to go to. Just, it doesn't matter where, just one of the... We'll go to, we'll go to this uh, moon. As you can see, we're on the other side. And... See, now we're getting 60s in 4K. So let, let that right there show you that the game has a lot of problems still, of course, but also for some reason, my computer just has a hard time streaming it by itself. Even when I bring up OBS, for some reason, I, I don't know why. I don't have all the answers, but let's let's get into a combat mission here. We might even go back to the expo hall since the frames are better. Um, bounty hunter.
Well, unfortunately, we don't have any ones that we can really do right now. Mm, I want to do a bounty hunter, but... I don't have a... That's the problem. I don't have any weapons on me. So me trying to do these is not going to be good because I need to do a regular one and I think the only one that I can do, Bounty Hunter Contract Evaluation, is I have to go to Hurston. So we're going to have to travel to Hurston. But we have it set, so we'll do it anyways. That way I can at least show you some combat in the game. Um, yeah. Here's our enemy's last known position. Do we have enough? We don't have enough to get there. So we're going to have to do halfway, maybe. Do we have enough to get to Crew L3? No. What about Hurston L4? Yep. All right, so we'll go to Hurston L4. All right, we'll go to H Hurston L4. So what we're doing is we're going to Hurston L4 to regas and go to the next place because this ship that I'm currently in does not have enough um, fuel to get to where we need to go. So we have to kind of you have to do jumps in order to make it to specific parts. So we want to do this bounty mission. In order to do it, we don't have enough fuel on our ship, so we have to jump to where we have enough fuel, then get refuel up, and then we can make it to our destination. Yeah, there's most of the things in this game is still very, very poorly optimized, of course. And they're not really going to fix any of that for quite a long time. See, even now, we should be getting... See how it jumps up to 69, 70, now it's up to 71. But then when you look forward, once the sun comes in, it'll probably go back down, drop 10, drop 20, drop 25. Just by looking at the sun. You go back up here and see it's back up to 72. That's optimization at its worst right there. So, but that doesn't take away from the funness of the game itself. Well, my, uh, I've got the newest drivers and all that stuff. My GPU is running pretty cool right now. I don't know. GPU says it's running 82%, but CPU only saying 11% just doesn't make sense to me. If I, if I did the, the good old control odd delete task manager, says CPU is running at 69%, RSI 50% star citizen, and 12 gigabytes of memory. Now I have 64 gigabytes of memory, so um, you can see all the processes that it's doing. Yeah, so it's, it's hard to tell. There's probably a way for me to get better frames that I just uh, haven't figured out for myself yet. Hey, what's up, Grumpier? Long time no see, bud. How you doing? Well, 
Well, I'm running off an M.2 drive. Um, so I have 11900K, RTX 3090, uh, 64 gigabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, so technically speaking, I should be able to run this thing like a power beast. But it, it doesn't always work that way. We're almost there. So we'll, once we get here, we'll refuel, we'll go, and we'll do this bounty mission. Then we'll come back. And uh, actually, I can just literally uh, allow myself to be killed. That way I can go back. But I don't want to do that because I like this armor I have on right now. And I don't want to lose the armor because once you die, you lose this armor. And I really don't want to lose it. I mean, just look at how good that looks. I mean, this game is still one of the prettiest games out there, in my opinion. Soon you're going to see the planet of Hurston come into view. And it's going to get really big. And just about... Now. Bottom drive is now off. Uh... Wait a second. Oh, oh, that's right. Not the planet of Hurston. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, where I'm currently at right now... Is Hurston L4. There it is. Remember, Hurston's the closest to the sun, so that's why it's so bright here. Alright, once we get close enough, we'll land, we'll refuel, and then we'll get back out there. I know it's hard to see this with the sun like that. That's just a placeholder sun, too. That's not the real sun. Waiting for the ATC guy. To sign landing bay. Tell me where to land. There you go. Landing gear deployed. Like a glove. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. All right, let's get in. Oh, I don't even need to get out. Sorry, I don't even know why I did that. I don't need to get out. I just need to hit F1. Go into. Refuel. Refuel quantum. Should be it. Let's see. Let's check it out. Is it good? Once I turn my engines on. And we should be good. All right. So now I can hit F3. Look behind us to make sure the doors are opening again. Yep, they are. Alright, 
now we can set our... To Hurston. Thank you. And please visit again. Let's get out of here. So we refuel, we're ready to go, and now we can head to the actual planet of Hurston. Remember, Hurston is the closest planet to the sun. Yeah, when you're staring right into that placeholder sun, it can get really bright. This is this is the only thing that takes the, the the longest amount of time is the time it takes to travel. They wanted to make this realistic, but they wanted to make this well. You can't say realistic because obviously it's not realistic because we we don't have this ability. But they want to make you when you when you decide to go someplace, it's going to take you a while. You're not going to get there instantaneous. They want to they want to keep it in in somewhat of reality. You know. They want to make it fun, but at the same time, they don't want to make it too easy for you to go from one place to the other. Then there's no consequence in going to different places when you can just get there instantaneously. So having this system in here means that you've got to wait a little bit of time. You know, this could be time that you could use to walk around your ship, talk to your crewmates, um, do other tasks, fix stuff on your ship, things like that. Like I said, we're just going to do this, we're immediately going to come right back to this station we were just at so that we can refuel again, because remember, we can't make the trip all the way back to Microtech. Actually, if I just... Dang it, I wish I wouldn't have took this suit out. It's not that big of a deal, though. So if we die... You don't go to the last place you've been. You go to the place that your home of record is. You're, so we're literally going to go back to Microtech. It's like a quick way to get back there. But if you have on a really nice outfit that you like, then that sucks. And you're going to lose it, but... Hydrogen fuel is used for regular travel. So let's say you're on a planet, and you're traveling around the planet, and you're traveling around its moons. That's what hydrogen fuel is used for. Quantum is when you're in this state, when you're going from one planet, or from one planet to a moon, or from a moon to a planet, or a moon to a moon. So think of it as local travel is hydrogen, and long distances is um, quantum. Quantum drive. So we just use, like right now, we're not in quantum, so we're using hydrogen fuel right now. But the moment I hit this, now we're using quantum. Because we're going, we're bending space and time to travel here. And as soon as we go out, Boom. Now we're using hydrogen. But as soon as we go to this point, it'll, because we're going there quickly, it will use quantum. So it switches back and forth. And then once we get to our main location, we're only using hydrogen. So now we're at this location. Now we're just going to be using hydrogen. I can't see anything. So if you don't can't see anything, hit tab. 
as you can see there's a bunch of asteroids up ahead so tab is going to be your best option to make sure you stay clear of um asteroids and stuff that you might be walking into i really it's really hard for me to see because i'm playing this on my second monitor which is significantly smaller than my normal tv that i play on All right, so soon, yeah, we want to make sure we don't run. Oh, I might want to slow down. There he is. There's a Mustang Delta. Did I set call to arms? No, I didn't. All right. Okay, there we go. So there's our target. Uh, I think we do. Yeah, we can fire on him with a missile. There's a few uh, people here. Looks like we did get a hit. He's got a radar lock on us. Here we go. You ready? Okay. Objective complete. And we got uh, 4,500 credits, and this is exactly how you make money. So now we need to head back. So in order to head back, we can just do a self-destruct, which I believe is holding down delete. Uh, this is not the way I recommend to do it, especially if you have on something you really, really enjoy. Actually, does this ship have a self-destruct? has an ejection but not a self oh okay so I'm gonna have to like kill myself because I don't I don't remember exactly what the um, I thought it was delete or maybe it's backspace self-destruct self there we go all right so the ship's gonna blow up <sighs> watching all of its glory and we're dead this is just so we can get back to... quickly. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't do that, I'd travel back. No, that was an NPC. Although... Um, you can bounty hunt uh, actual players too. If they've done anything bad, if they've committed crimes... and they have a warrant on them... Um, then you can take them out. See, now we're back. So where you start, once you die, you go back to the hospital and the treatment bed, because you're a clone. Think of it this way, so you, when you start the game, you're, gonna, you're a real person. And when you die, your conscience gets put into a clone. Because uh, this is the future, so they can do that. So that explains the whole permadeath thing. Your main body dies, but your conscience can go back into a replica of you. The more and more you die in the game, the um, the less and less your character is going to be um, strong, like you're going to get weaker and weaker because your body is getting sent into different bodies over and over again. So the whole point is try not to die, right? <laughs> and this is, uh, you start with your gown. This is why you see everybody in gowns or the gowns on the floor and all that. Um, all right, so you hit I, you go in your inventory, we're going to take that and put that there. The game, if you die, the game automatically gives you a suit, hat, and it looks like it gives you a. What the hell is this power bolt? Oh, I see. 
It's because of the station that I'm at currently. I'm currently at the station, which was the last... I set my starting point, um, at this specific location, so that's why. So technically right now, we are above Microtech. Now, you also have to reclaim your ship because it's destroyed, so find out where your ship is, which is the Anvil Arrow. It's, see, it's destroyed on Aberdeen. So you claim it, and then it'll come back here uh, for you. Do I have any ships here at Port Tressler? I don't think I do. They're all at New Babbage. I do. I have one. The Alien. All right. So we can take the ship that we brought here, and we're going to head back, and you're going to see the, see that area at a little bit of higher frames. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember if it was uh, backspace or delete. Please visit us again. You see how it says 38 million over there? That's our dead body. So, um... Oh, dude, you literally knocked me out. <sighs> Son of a... They literally knocked me out while I was inside trying to do that. That was a human player, by the way. See, very, very playable. Yeah, but the only problem with kamikaze piloting is sometimes your ship will be destroyed and theirs won't be, so it's a risk-reward. Depending on the type of player you want to be. F3? You are clear to launch. Now you can see that the sun is starting to come up because you see the sun over on the horizon there. That shows us where your body is, so if you wanted to go and pick up your armor or anything that you had on you when you died, anything that survived the trip, then you can do that. Um, if you look at the emblem right here, that's how you know that's New Babbage. It, ha it has a specific emblem to it, so you always know where the uh, main city is. I know. Starfield, I think, is still going to be really, really good, but there's no way it's going to have this type of detail. I mean, I don't even think you can land anywhere on the planet in Starfield. We'll see if that ends up happening or not, but... Now we just need to locate the... There it is. It's right below us. And usually you can tell where it is by those three things right there. So we're just going to get close. That's the landing location. You don't have to land there. You can actually land where the thing is, but I recommend landing here because you could lose your ship. Someone could steal your ships. It's better to land here. When you see the blue dots that show up, that means those are real people. Like right there. That's a real person in a MISC Freelancer. Calling for a place to land. Docking request initiated. Docking unavailable. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Boy. I know it's a little hard to see right now. But you could turn your lights on, but I don't think it's really going to show up anything just yet.
We're getting closer and closer, but it, my thing isn't coming up yet, so let me try again. It's so hard to see at nighttime. Let's go this way and then we'll turn around. Alright, there we go. So now we're right in front of it. There's my hangar I need to land at. to see. Almost there. Perfect landing. Warning. You are blocking an active flight bay. Oh yeah, people have crashed into every- I've crashed into space stations, I've crashed into asteroids. I mean, it happens. Alright, so we're back here, that means I don't need to have this suit on anymore. I can go back to my regular clothing. Now remember the frames are still going to be low, but they should be at least a little bit better to, to walk around. I still don't know if you can rent a ship yet, or if it's still messing up or not, so I guess this is a good opportunity to find out. See how much more frames we're getting? You're actually seeing the amount of frames we're getting, as opposed to last time when I was streaming. Because I had OBS on on my computer that I was playing the game on, and then it was streaming from OBS over to the second computer. So, we, all I did, essentially, was take off the OBS on this computer, and then immediately all the frames went up, so... Capsule now approaching station. Tram arriving Stand in three, two, passengers. one. Have a nice day. The most beautiful thing in this game is when the sunset starts to come up, or the sunrise, or sunset, yeah, whichever one. Doors are now closing. The inventory system is this is this is all your clothing, all your undersuits, all your armor, weapons. 
Um, it's going to get new updates and stuff. It's a little outdated now. Uh, they're still trying to smooth over more and more things, so it'll get better and better. But that's how you equip all your inventory. And all of this stuff is at this station, so you're grabbing it from the station. Now, you can have a backpack that has certain items inside it and take it with you, and then you can move those items to your ship, and then those things will be on your ship. But everything is, is, is location-based when it comes to inventory, so it's not like... You can pull your inventory up any way you are in the, in, in the universe and have everything available to you. No, it's only what you have stored at specific places. So what we have stored at, um, at New Babbage is all that you see here. Um, we got nothing in our personal and all that, so it's kind of cool how it all works. Got one more to go. This is the commons. You can loot them. You don't have to buy them. All those weapons, all yeah, those armors, you you can loot. When you're out doing missions and you take out NPC characters, you can take steal the clothes off their back. If they have a specific armor on, you can grab it, take it, and now you have it. If they have a specific weapon, you can grab it, take it, or you can buy and purchase the weapons um, that you get at the little shops around the different stations and stuff like that too. It's, it's up to you. Wow, see how much more, look at that, 40 frames in IAE now. Man, the beginning of this stream, it was so hard to just move around. And look at that, 51 frames when we were getting 18. 18 frames. Now I can actually freaking look around in peace. Yeah, they still t-shirt pants, yep. See right there, I can go up there and I can buy that shirt if I wanted to. Remember guys, I recommend to all of you out there, even if you don't think your computer can run it, try it. Try. Follow that link in the description, use my code. Try the game out for two weeks. If you like it, make sure you use that code when you purchase the game. I'm telling you, you're gonna have a lot of fun. Yes, you're gonna have some heartache too with glitches and stuff and bugs, but you're gonna have so much fun. Look how much smoother it is. 41. I'm getting 40. Man, I wish I would have realized that earlier. So much more smoother. Even if it's just 30, it's still significant. Okay? You still can't rent these, unfortunately. I mean, you're supposed to be able to rent them, so obviously it's a glitch that's happening right now. I heard someone say something about if you move off to the right. You mean the dragonfly? I think you mean the, the Dragonfly. I'm pretty sure that's what you mean. Yeah, it's a pretty cool vehicle. See, I kind of want this ship. I mean, this ship has everything you need. Oh yeah, there's that little glitch. So there's a glitch with the uh, Corsair that if you just go straight, you'll go right through. But if you can find the right angle, they'll fix that, obviously. See, so you'll go right through there too. You just got to find like the, the spot where you can get on, which I, I don't know where it is here. Yeah, see? No. Let's try another ship. Does that make it better? Sorry. Was the game too loud? I didn't realize it was loud in here, because I can't hear the game, so... Yeah, see, that one works fine. So it's only on some of them. Some of them you'll fall through, but as you can clearly see, 
you don't fall through this one. Except that guy right there, he just fell through him somehow. Yep, he, he falls through. It's so weird. It's like, uh, I'm not falling through. Thank you, Devin. I appreciate it, bud. So this is a cool ship. I might get this sometime in the future. Because this thing has so much firepower. It has four size five weapons. Or you can get four size four uh, gimbals. Those big massive weapons on the side. Those big four right there. And then there's two on the wings. There's even... I don't know what that is. I don't think that's a weapon. I think that's like a tractor. Tractor... not a tractor beam or, or something. Right? This game is just so beautiful. Yeah, there's probably a lot of issues on client side and all that stuff. I mean, the, you know, the it's all a mess, and, and they'll eventually get to it, but... If you've been playing Star Citizen for a few years, then you're, you're well aware of all of these issues. And they just don't really bother you anymore. They, they're... They're, um... They're an inconvenience, but you don't let it stress you. So you just gotta get used to the issues and realize that issues like this stuff is going to happen. It's in still an alpha state, it's an unfinished product. Oh, you can actually rent it now. Well, let's see if it says... Yep, still says error occurred, so... They'll have to fix that on their end at some point. Um, which I'm sure they're already looking into. You ready? This song's for you, everybody. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> Do a little jump off there. We took a little bit of health damage, but only like two or three. So not too bad. Think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. I believe I can soar. I seen them running through that open door. I believe I can fly. But yeah, so there is the uh, the Drake Expo, and tomorrow we'll probably stream again and be taking a look at the Origin Expo, which is probably going to be my favorite because Origin ships are beautiful. Um, so I can't wait to show off those. Those are like the luxury type of ships, which I think you guys are going to get a real good kick out of. And this is going to go on for the next two weeks, guys. So we're going to be streaming this game quite a bit over the next two weeks. I know I'm not going to get as many viewers as, say, a God of War stream or something like that, which we're still going to be doing more God of War 2. And The Devil and Me is happening tonight with uh, Wifey Strain, so we're really looking forward to that. So if you're up, and hopefully it's not too late for you guys, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be live brand new horror game from Supermassive uh, which is in about uh, just under 6 hours, 5 hours and 40 minutes we'll be live, alright so other than that, thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed our first look at Drake Interplanetary's hosting of the IAE 2952 love you all take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next stream peace out